we've got a, a paradigm shift. Let's talk about this. We've got access to navigation, right? You got access, so now you're the professional, and what you're doing really is you're DJing for them their real estate issues. You're a DJ. What's a DJ? Do? <laughs> Someone's laughing at that analogy. What's a DJ do? Play their favorite song. You ever heard a bad DJ? Yeah. Been at a wedding going, yes. really? <laughs> Wayne Chung? Why? Or is anyone playing that? <laughs> so, and then you're like, so there's a thing as a bad DJ. Are they really doing anything? They're just selecting. But you can have a bad DJ. That's how's that possible with all the good music? Because they make the wrong selections based on what people want. If you're a DJ, what do you want to hear? If you're out there in the, on the dance floor, wait, Michael Jackson, please, that's what you want to hear. Someone plays Thriller, and they're like, that DJ's awesome. Right? Yeah. A bad DJ is like, why Engelbert Humperdinck? Why are we playing that music? So now you as a real estate professional, if you're not listening to the marketplace, how can you properly select for the consumer? Secondly, the whole idea of, well, the bigger the better, the bigger the house, the better it is. That's not what people want anymore. It's not working. The other thing was, well, I get you a loan to fit, and people are thinking, I don't want a loan to fit. I want a loan that I can actually keep. I have a question for you guys. When you think about an emerging, <coughs> excuse me, an emerging trend in real estate, what is it? <coughs> when there's the obvious. People want a bargain. Yes. They want a bargain. What else do they want? Deal. Let's think about something that they don't tell you they want, but you know they want. What is the most precious commodity for a consumer right now? Time. Hi. By the way, my wife, I'm going to send you this. My sweet wife yesterday, she's been sick for four days. And yesterday she sent me a two-page email. <laughs> honey, this is what she said. Honey, I don't want to overwhelm you, yet I've been home and I want to send you a list of things I would like done at the house. I'm like, Are you kidding me? And I scroll through them. Like, New Harbor floors, I want the house paint. I'm thinking, and I just, I just type that in. Wow. That's it. W. Yeah, I just said, wow, I can't even, she's like, love you. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's like 30 grand worth of stuff. I'm like, get out of the house. But what she's really focusing on, that house, is a, it's a maintenance issue. That required time and money and effort. And a lot of people just don't have it. So if you have a house that's got a lot of maintenance issues or things, that's another thing you got to look at. So what, one of the things that I think an emerging trend for real estate professionals is that you have to spend a lot more time getting to know your people really analyzing them so you can maximize the amount of time you're with them. Uh, yesterday, they just said, I showed this couple 100 homes. And I said, wow. you're not very smart. <laughs> now here's the question for you. Could that have been done differently? Oh. Yes. Why do you have to spend that much time with somebody? Because you weren't paying attention to what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. The DJ has opened up the catalog of records <laughs> and said, just do whatever you want. I'm going to start in the 50s and I'll roll through up to the two. No, 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 no. Wait, what are you looking for? Because people who have time don't mind wasting your time. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. People who have time do not mind wasting your time. What do you think your clients do when they're looking for a house at night on the weekends? They go to the internet. The internet is like the worst thing in the world for you guys. It's the worst. It's bad for you. It's also bad for lawyers. I downloaded this lease. I did my own will. <laughs> okay? So, what do you do in an emerging trend? Do you catch up to it or do you get ahead of it? Get ahead of it.